Jillian Mayen here for BTN.com, joined by John Crispin and our newcomer, Max Bielfeld. And we're going to talk a little bit about my cats. Yeah, because slow down. John slow knows down. that I'm down. Homer, and yep. I get to sit here and I get excited every time I talk about Northwestern, but especially this season, because this is the season that everyone, pretty much, the, at least in the BTN studios, yep. has projected Northwestern to make the tournament. Now, we're a pretty good way through the Big Ten season, and they're still playing pretty good basketball <laughs> to the point where they could make the NCAA tournament. So my question for you guys is how have your thoughts about Northwestern making the tournament changed? I know in the beginning of the season, it was like, yeah, this, this team could make it. But now where, where, what are your thoughts like about the tournament? Is it like a done deal yet? Can I like, real, can right? I book in book my ticket to, to March Madness? <laughs> There's no such thing as a done deal in this conference. <laughs> I guarantee you that no such thing as a done deal, but it does start to feel real. And what happens, like think of a relationship. All right, bear with me on this. So like, <laughs> it's all good, right? So like Christmas. the first month, yeah, and hang in there with me on this. It's gonna make sense, I swear. The first month, right, it's just great. It's the honeymoon phase. And then after a month or two, you're like, wow, it's real. Like I'm really with this person. Then you gotta deal with the positives and the negatives. And the negatives here are all of a sudden you've got pressure and expectation. And it's the same way in a relationship. All of a sudden, and, and now there's an expectation of how I have to be because I would put my best foot forward for the first month. And I think this team now has to live with the fact that the expectations are here. The good thing about it is their coach's expectations are high too. Why? Because he's got personnel to match. He likes his personnel. Chris Collins loves the, the, the guys that he has, particularly in, in Vic Law, Scotty Lindsay, and Bryant McIntosh, what they can do offensively, but also defensively. He puts his personnel in a position that they're going to be able to win basketball games with that pack line defense. They're assertive, yet not overly aggressive. They don't give up anything easy. So all of a sudden, they're actually managing the expectations very well to a point where they go into Ohio State and win a tough game on the road. So, so far, so good. Yeah, and you know, I think I saw them play Notre Dame in, uh, over Thanksgiving break when they had a really great game. They were playing well. Last couple minutes, they couldn't quite close it out. They lost a really tight game. They had the same thing to Butler. Lost to Butler by two. Combined Notre Dame and Butler, six points. I think these close games and the toughness that shows, this Chris Collins team that he's putting together, they're winning tough games. You know, it's not the old Northwestern where, you know, it's the same sort of thing. You know, lack of toughness. They can't quite figure it out. I think they have it figured out. You saw that against Ohio State. You see it with their record now in conference. Yeah, speaking of that Ohio State game, I, it's crazy to me, yeah. but it, also not so crazy when you think about it, but it was the first time they've won at Ohio State since 1977. No one on the set was even around yet. I, it's like, just a, So for you guys, like as former Big Ten players, I know that they say like those stats don't matter, and you don't think about that necessarily going into a game, but when you walk away from a game like that, like how much confidence does that give you going forward in your season when you're like, wow, we just hit that landmark? I think it's huge. I mean, look, I played at Penn State, so Penn State, State is very similar to Northwestern in the sense where we're not in the NCAA tournament every single year. It's not really the, the reality for us. So I understand the mindset of being a Northwestern, but it starts with a belief. And I think that's the thing. That's what's different about this team. You say not your, you know, Chris Collins actually said it to me at the game, not your grandmother's Northwestern team. <laughs> and he's right. The interesting thing is you go back to 1977. This wasn't even the team that you saw in 1977. This is a completely different Northwestern team. They do things differently offensively. They're better defensively. They expect to win. They get high-level talent. I mean, you get a guy like Vic Law. He's as good as an athlete as anybody in, in the conference. So I think everything's changing, including the perception internally and externally of this program. Yeah, no question. I think Scotty Lindsay is one of the most improved players this year. Yep. All right, John, Max, thank you so much. For more Northwestern news, highlights, and analysis, head to btn.com slash wildcats.